Look again, top 25's college scoreboard here as we approach the 6 o'clock hour. So a lot of games will begin here in a matter of a few moments. In the conference, uh, this one, the only one that's still underway. That started early. Staver runs away from pressure, rolls out to his right, takes a big hit, trying to slide down, and here comes a late flag. As he was hit late, the flag came in. It will be thrown against Ryan Woods. And Woods, I mean, I, he's caught in kind of no man's land there. He's coming in to make the tackle. Staver starts to make his slide. Wood hit, Woods hits him before he gets to the turf or as he is going into his slide. Personal foul. Targeting with the crown of the helmet. Defense number 50. Previous play is under further review. As, and rightfully so. Yeah. As again, I mean, as Staver starts to go down, Woods is going low. The quarterback going into his slide lowers, obviously, his head level, and that's the reason for possibly the helmet tear. He's coming low, but he did lead with his helmet. So that was the, the call that he led with the helmet. You know, the argument could be made that he was leading with his shoulder there. So we'll look at hopefully the other replay here in a moment. But, again, Woods, just unfortunate for him. And, again, if the targeting call is upheld as they review it down here, the officials – then he would be ineligible for the first half next week. So Woods was going low and did hit him with the helmet as just as he was going into the slide. And Staver obviously could see that hit coming and starts to go down to avoid it, but slides right into the Woods hit. And as, uh, we will uh, look at the, the replay again here at full speed. Uh, attempt to show it to you in full speed here so you can see just what officials are looking at as they try to make a determination. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't speak so ill of them all the time. So here, actually, this will be the quarterback staver. So you see here he's coming in, and boom, there's the pop. And uh, the flag comes in immediately. And I figure if, if nothing, it's going to be unnecessary roughness. But, again, they, they call targeting on him in the – Replay continues now, so obviously the replay official is taking a lot of different looks at this to determine if, in fact, he did hit him with the crown of the helmet because one of those looks almost looks like he hits him with his head to the side as we slow it down here. Now, Staver starts the slide. Obviously, Woods has already come in trying to make the play. His head is down, and, I mean, the helmet hits him left center of his torso, so you could argue that the attempt was being made for him to hit him with his shoulder, and that Staver slid into it. And obviously, these two, along with the man upstairs, having a hard time, and I'm not talking about the big man upstairs, I'm talking about the replay official upstairs. Those are the ones trying to determine whether the intent of Ryan Woods. So you see Staver here again, sliding, boom, there's the hit. And it was not helmet to helmet, but the call was leading with the crown of the helmet. And so what now is, unofficially, we're going with the longest review of the year here. It certainly is not the nine-minute review that they had a few weeks ago in the Duke game, but several minutes, the review over, headset off, and now an announcement. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number 50 is now disqualified. So leading with the crown of the helmet confirmed. So Woods has his evening finished, and he'll be escorted here to the locker room. So an early shower for Ryan Woods. So getting some playing time here, and unfortunately sees his night come to an early close. As uh, he is the victim of an unfortunate collision there. Redshirt freshman out of Pearland Dawson. And... Uh, his evening finished after a tackle there on the sliding quarterback, Max Staver. Staver was shaken up on that, and the Huskies have a new quarterback in there. Yeah, 